Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today I'm doing a Sephora haul of everything that I got at the Sephora VIB sale and on a recent trip with my sister for her birthday shopping. Alright, so first things first, I spent some points. And right now, Sephora has a bunch of 500 points available and I picked out the Buxom, you see it? Buxom um, 500 point kit. It comes with a it says mini Vanity Lash Mascara. Uh, hold the line waterproof eyeliner, a full on lip cream in Kuroyal, and a full on lip polish in Sophia. And my sister got the full size of the Sophia while we were there. Um, but this is the mascara. Let's see what the one looks like. It's a really fat wand. I've never used any of the Buxom mascaras, so I'm going to have to give that one a try. I love the lip glosses, those are my favorite. I like the lip cream. It's more the ones in the frosted glass that don't have the sparkles more than the polishes. Um, but I love them both. I like the minty feeling. I'm actually wearing um, the lip cream in white Russian right now. Um, all right, so here's the eyeliner, and it's a silvery gray sparkle kind of color. Here, you see if you can see that. This is the eyeliner. It looks pretty. I don't really know. I don't know. Maybe for the lower lash line. I don't think I would use that on the upper lash line. I don't really wear eyeliner too much anyway. Alright, and then here is the lip cream in Cur, Cur Royale. I don't really know if I'm saying that right. It's, ooh, that's messy. Okay, look at that. It like came out gloopy. Um, mm, that's gross. Okay, let's see. I can clean this up. Alright, in Cur Royale. Let's get closer. And that's I mean, it's really pretty. It's like a kind of a sheer berry red kind of color. Pretty Christmassy appropriate. And then Sophia is more of a nudie pink and it's got a little shimmer to it. Let's see. You may or may not be able to see it. So I think it's right here. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, BC, I finally picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I never tried the original one. Um, I'm actually I have pretty dry skin, so I was always kind of nervous about trying this foundation. I love their um, face and body foundation. That one's one of my favorites that I'm wearing today. I um, can't remember what shade I am in that one. Let me see. It's not a perfect match for me. It's a little too pink, but I'm in number 38 in that one. And during the summer, I wear... This is a tangent. Never mind. It's not on the bottle. <laughs> okay, so shade number 38, which is, this is a little more yellow. This is a little closer to my foundation, but I have probably used half the bottle since the VIB sale, and I love this foundation. It gives me fairly good coverage, and it doesn't, um, I don't know if you ha if any of you have dry skin, but I'll get, like, patchy looking on my nose. It's like as soon as I put on the foundation, and especially after powdering, it just looks like it just doesn't quite lay evenly on my nose, but this one seems to do the best. It's one of my new favorites. All right, I picked up the Burberry eyeshadow, and this is in Pale Barley. And it comes in a little, one of those little satchels that you just throw away. And this is the color. Oops, lost a little applicator. Never gonna use it. All right, and this is the color. Right, and swatch, swatch underneath. Let me get a good wipe. It's just this really neutral, it's kind of a golden brown. I wouldn't, but it's also kind of taupe at the same time. I'd say it's a sh like a satin taupe, but not satin taupe from MAC. Like it's like a satin eyeshadow that's a taupe color. Sale was this NARS blush, and I got it in the shade Luster. I'd never heard of the shade up until. I don't remember if it was in the Jaclyn Hill Fall Favorites tag, maybe, that she talked about it, or it's one of her videos around that time she was talking about it, and then right after that, I think Kathleen Lights was talking about it, and maybe Casey Holmes? I may have this all confused, but I've never heard of it, and it looked really pretty on all of them, even though they're all way more tan than I am. Um, but here's what the shade looks like, and I really do like to wear it. I've only worn it a few times since getting it. I've kind of left it in the packaging. Let's see. All right, and you can see, and it blends out pretty well. Um, it's just like almost kind of like one of those bronzer looking blush shades, um, but it's got like a nice peach tone to it as well. Really like it. The two more things that I got in the VIB sale. 
I got picked up the NARS Audacious Lipstick, which I love the formula of the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I have five of them. This makes six. And I picked this up in the color Bet. I haven't gotten any of the darker colors. I have Olivia, because it's my name. I, that was the first one I picked up. Um, I also have Anna. I have, I think, Raquel. Oh, what was the other ones? Anita. Oh, and Angela. So I have like a bright one, I have a few neutrals, and then I have a deep red. But I wanted something more fall, winter y looking. And this is bad. I actually hadn't swatched this yet, but it's very pretty. It's like a very blue based raspberry kind of a color. I really like it. The last thing I picked up during the VIB sale is the biggest. I finally got the Nirvana perfume. I'd been looking at it for a long time, but they came out oops, They came out with a kit for um, holiday, and it was the same price at pretty much as the one ounce, but you get, um, here, let me take off this so there's not a sheen. Um, so you get a one ounce of the perfume, a little roller ball, which I've actually already had the, I have the full size roller ball, and I had a couple of these just from um, point redemption items, and then you get a little bitty one of the oil. Let me see. You get fluid ounce of the spray, 0.24 fluid ounces of the rollerball, and then this is 0.47 um, fluid ounces, so I'm really excited to try that, especially this because perfume doesn't always stay that well on me, so I was hoping that using this, um, it'll make it stay a little longer. I went to the mall with my younger sister, and I picked up a couple more items. These, of course, weren't on the VIB sale, but I picked up, oops, I opened it already, finally, picked up the Kat Von D shade and light palette right here. Um, this is the back, it's the shades. Um, I've had, let's see, I have, I wasn't sure about getting this. I already had a couple contour shades from MAC. I have the Anastasia and the Lorac contour palettes and the NYX contour palette. So I just wasn't sure if it was even worth getting another one, but I love this contour palette. Um, this is what it looks like, here are your shades. And they're just beautiful. I'm actually wearing, let's see, I'm using this as my contour. These two mix as just not really a highlight, but just kind of like under eyes, down the um, bridge of my nose, center forehead, and chin. And then I use this middle shade just to kind of bronze up my skin because um, I'm so pale. This works as a bronzer. Um, yeah, really, really enjoying this. Um, I still reach for my other ones, but I think this is my favorite palette of all the contour palettes that I've tried. I know I picked up was this, the Laura, I finally got the little travel size to try out the Laura Mercier Ready, Set, Go, is what this says. Um, it's a translucent, loose setting powder with, it says it comes with a little puff. I don't use the puff. Um, whoop, let me pick it up. Just fill it up. So you get a little puff, and then this is the size of the travel. This was $22.50. Um, which is, I think, a decent price for trying it out, but like you can kind of see powder. I don't want to dump it. I don't want to dump it everywhere. Um, I used a little bit under to set my under eye today. I have very dry under eyes, so I have to be careful with what powders I use. And I think this one might be a little too intense. Um, I like it for the rest of my face, but um, I'll keep trying it out. I'm sure I'll love it eventually. It's just I haven't quite figured out how to use it the best for my skin. Uh, but that's it. That's everything that I picked up during the VIB sale and um, going to the store the other day. I'm hoping to get more with the $25 off 50. Keep Let me know in the comments what you're wanting to get so it'll maybe give me a few ideas. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you tune in and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thanks.